Well, the great Mike Sexton is gone. My buddy, my partner, what an exceptional human being you were and are. What a father to Ty and all your family members. The world will not be the same without you. We love you, Mike. Rest in peace, brother. Mike was born September 22, 1947, in Shelbyville, Indiana. A Midwestern boy to his core, Mike grew up in Dayton, Ohio, and attended The Ohio State University, where he earned a degree in public recreation, competed in gymnastics, and became a diehard Buckeyes fan. In 1970, Mike joined the U.S. Army and was assigned to the 82nd Airborne Division as a paratrooper. While in the Army, Mike not only served his country, but also taught ballroom dancing. A strong lead on the dance floor, Mike brought joy and energy whenever he broke out his impressive ballroom skills. After his enlistment ended, Mike first found work as a salesman. His true calling came, though, when he discovered how well he could do at playing poker, and he took up that game professionally in 1977. In 1985, Mike's love of the game inevitably brought him to Las Vegas. Just four years later in 1989, he won the coveted World Series of Poker bracelet in the $1,500 seven-card stud event. In 1998, long before the poker craze that grew into today's industry, Mike took a page from the PGA and masterminded the WSOP Invitation-Only Tournament of Champions, featuring Poker's Elite, one of its proudest achievements. In 2001, Mike became an original co-founder of Party Poker, an enterprise that has stood the test of time and remains one of the top online poker sites in the world today. A year later, Mike started his career with the World Poker Tour. Welcome to the debut of the World Poker Tour. With his can-do spirit, Mike was more than a commentator, playing a major role in convincing casinos to take a chance on the newly formed WPT. We have a sensational group of six finalists for you here today. What a great way to start the season on the World Poker Tour. When the World Poker Tour premiered with the WPT Five Diamond World Poker Classic at the Bellagio. The game is no limit holding. It's a game that takes a minute to learn and a lifetime to master. Mike and fellow commentator Vince Van Patten changed the poker world forever with their patented blend of friendly banter and deep poker knowledge. Never falls, Ryan Rivers doesn't get some help here, Vance. He's going over the falls in a barrel. This unlikely partnership would grow into a deep friendship founded on respect, admiration, and affection. In 2005, Mike published his first book, Shuffle Up and Deal. In 2006, Mike masterfully won the WSOP Tournament of Champions for $1 million, defeating the two-time WPT champion Daniel Legrandu heads up. True to his giving nature, he donated half of his $1 million purse to charity, including the Bonaconti Fund to Cure Paralysis, a cause he continued to generously support for many years. Similarly, along with Linda Johnson, Jan Fisher, and Lisa Tenner, Mike created PokerGives.org, a nonprofit organization providing poker players a dedicated platform for philanthropy. I've been interviewed many times during my career, and one question a lot of times they ask is, who do you think is the most uh, respected person, or who do you like most as a poker player? And my answer is always the same, Mike Sexton. He is the man. In 2008, Mike received the greatest gift of all, his son Ty. Mike's love for Ty brought a new and meaningful dimension to his life. As a devoted father, Mike loved cheering Ty on at baseball games and proudly shared photos at the table of Ty and their treasured moments together. Ty was truly his world. Later that year, Mike reached a career milestone when he was inducted as the 39th member of the Poker Hall of Fame. In 2016, Mike published Life's a Gamble, a poker autobiography spanning his four decades in the defining game of his life. In November of the same year, Mike with the ladies? Yes, I call. Mike reached his third of four WPT final tables and won WPT Montreal main event. Deuce the diamonds, it's over! He's done it! Best in the field of 648 entries to win nearly $318,000 and making him officially a WPT champion. Let's hear it one more time for the great Mike Sexton! Unsurprisingly, 
he gave his championship belt to Ty. With 15 career caches in WPT tournaments totaling nearly $1 million, Mike is ranked 216th overall in WPT earnings and 39th in WPT final table appearances. In total, Mike amassed more than $6.7 million in live tournament winnings. In 2017, after 15 landmark seasons with the World Poker Tour, Mike left to rejoin Party Poker as their chairman, closing out a career with WPT that remains a huge part of his legacy in the industry. So let's shuffle up and deal. That same year, Mike was named a recipient of the WPT Honors. I'm extremely humbled and honored to be receiving this award. The WPT's highest distinction awarded to members of the poker industry in celebration and appreciation of exceptional contributions made to the World Poker Tour and the poker community as a whole. In July, the WPT renamed its iconic WPT Champions Cup the Mike Sexton WPT Champions Cup in honor of Mike's unparalleled influence on the organization and the poker world. To his friends, Mike was known as a humble man and a kind and generous soul. Never without a smile on his face and always game for a new adventure, Mike was never too busy to share a laugh, stop, take a picture with a fan, or a fact to which many of his friends can attest, take your money on the golf course. They might only bet $1, $2, or lunch, or beers, but everybody gambles on the golf course. That's the fun of it. And Mike was a storyteller extraordinaire. There was nothing he loved more than joyfully regaling eager listeners with boisterous tales from his days coming up in poker when he was seated at the table with legends like his good friends Doyle Brunson, Amarillo Slim, Puggy Pearson, Chip Reese, and Stu Unger, at whose funeral Mike spoke and served as pallbearer. A larger-than-life personality whose infectious energy, enthusiasm, and pure love of the game bowled you over when he entered the room. Mike leaves an outsized legacy on and profound hole in the poker world. Everybody who is lucky enough to know Mike will always remember him fondly as a jubilant, once and forever, first ambassador of poker. One thing that we know is this industry, this wonderful thing that has brought us all together. We're only going to experience it for so much time. Soon we'll be gone, we will stop. We'll get older, we will not be there. Next generation will come, and the fact that we could come together, celebrate those wonderful people, like Mike, who have made so much of a contribution, that we can stop and just say, by the grace of God, we had a moment where we all came together, and that we will never stop appreciating just how wonderful the together we made each other feel.